hi hello guys welcome back to hackison tutorial so in this network penetration testing series the first topic is network reconnaissance okay so we are going to do a basic reconnaissance with nmap so let's start open up your terminal and type let let us uh, calculate the subnet first okay so before that let me find out my ip address if config so this will show give my IP address just copy it clear it off IP calc space IP address and hit enter so this will show my subnet so I'm going to scan the entire subnet to find the live systems that are present inside my network okay so whenever if you are do if you are given a project if you are given a, if you are taking a pen testing project you need to uh, find out all the live system that are present in that network because you don't know you don't have any knowledge any prior knowledge uh, on that network right so you need to uh, gather some information about that uh, network by doing basic reconnaissance so the first thing is first step you have to do is you need to find out all the live system that are present inside that network okay so now i'm going to uh, scan my entire subnet but it takes time right uh, if i am go if i'm scanning my entire subnet you it will take some time but uh, like in my case i'm it's just a simple network so the, you it don't take much time but whereas if you are doing for a large network it might take some time so if use the following command to reduce the time so this flag will reduce the time because it will um, scan only for the common ports okay so so yeah, the time taken for by the scanners will be uh, lesser okay in map space hyphen f my subnet and hit enter so this will uh, take a minute of time to complete so let's wait yeah it has completed and it has found that three devices that are present inside this network so the first two is my router okay so we don't want to take it as our concern so the third one is our metasploitable okay so the uh, the ip address and it shows all the open ports in that metasploitable and even the mac address and mac address and details organization details so these are all the basic infos you need to uh, note all this information guys each and each piece of information will help uh, help us while doing a penetration testing so the second one is poco phone which is my mobile phone which is connected to the same network and the third one is my uh, host system that is my kali linux um, and it is also showing the so open ports okay so these are all the very first we have founded the live system that are present inside the network if if you work for the larger network then it you might be able to see lots of uh, ips over here because uh, there may be lots of computers inside that network right so you will you can able to see lots of computers lots of ips especially so let me clear clear off my terminal and now the second step is you need to find the open ports okay so for that nmap space ip address so in this case i am using my metasploitable ip address hot one okay hit enter so this will show you only the open ports no other details will be shown here you could see that it is showing only the open ports that are present in that particular ne network particular host okay so this host has these many ports open so it is displaying here so the third command after finding the live host 
and after finding the open port you need to uh, check the services that are running inside that particular host okay so this is my target host that is my metasploitable is my target so i am going to find what are all the services that are running uh, in those open ports okay so in my case in map space 192.168.0.101 before that i have to add minus hyphen yes capital v so this will detect the service version and hit enter okay this would take a small a short time so let's wait till it completes So as a penetration tester, whenever you're doing a pen testing project or a, or while doing a bug bounty programs, even uh, network pen testing as uh, net network uh, the vulnerabilities also there. So there it, it also comes under bug bounties. So whenever doing that, first do a basic recon over your target. So try to understand about your target. Then only it will be easy, e easy to um, more further okay so you can you, the more the knowledge you have about your target uh, will give um, like it's like a fruit okay so it's like a fruit um, each and every piece of uh, information will help you so don't leave anything so here uh, here we are here you could see that uh, all the versions service versions have been uh, here yeah it has shown all the services that are running on those open ports okay so after finding all the services we can uh, search for the exploits right yeah we can search for the uh, we can search for the exploits for this particular version and we can try to exploit this uh, host so yeah, that's why we are uh, detecting the service versions okay so now it's time to detect the operating system even though if you got um, got the details before in the before command itself we have to run uh, operating system scan to confirm it okay so here in map space hyphen o space ip address 192.168.0.101 0.101 sorry it's capital O and you can even run hyphen O guys okay so here uh, you could see the uh, it has shown it has confirmed that this particular operating system is Linux is running under Linux kernel version 2.6 okay so now uh, you can even uh, find uh, you can even search exploits for this particular kernel and you can try to exploit it okay so you can even use uh, a instead of o so let's try capital a and hit enter so this this will also gives the same information to uh, this is aggressive scan where you, it will also detect the OS versions okay so as a beginner this will be uh, I think uh, this video will be helpful for you guys so let's see what's the result here so as I said uh, it has given the details i have said you now uh, it is a hyphen a is aggressive scan and it is came up with more details so let's go to the last one that is the os part here it it is also confirmed that it is running linux 2.6 okay so it may be it is detected that it may be between uh, 2.6.9 to 2.6.3 okay so the host name is maybe uh, metasploitable it has detected the host names are also so 
that's all guys uh, you can i think i hope uh, this would be helped you a lot as a beginner so in in my future videos we'll be seeing more on network pen testing so stay tuned for more videos regarding to the network pen testing if you have any doubts regarding this video uh, please comment on the comment section or contact us directly thanks for your support guys have a nice day Brother, it's caught in the crossfire. It's caught in the crossfire.